Welcome back to my channel. Today, you're in for a real treat. I'm going to be showing you how to make the strawberry foam mousse, but also how to layer it in a drink that is very popular, a drink that I coined Mrs. Panda. This recipe today is part of a video series that I created just for you, so you could better understand more about cream, foam, cap, mousse, whatever you wanna call it. So if you haven't watched part one yet, I'm going to go ahead and put it right up here and also in the description. That one covers the flavor of tiramisu, but it goes more heavily into details about understanding this product, how to use it on your drinks, what are the different consistencies and styles. And so with all that being said, let's get started. You might have already seen the winter drink video which I created called Mrs. Panda, and that recipe is just amazing. The base layer is strawberry milk, then we have a charcoal milk tea, and to top things off, a beautiful layer of strawberry cream foam. Not only does it look cool for social media, but it also tastes great too. There's so many different ways that you can jazz this drink up by adding tapioca pearls to the bottom, putting some sort of decoration on top, the sky's the limit. This drink is actually super easy to make, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it step by step, starting with the strawberry mousse first. Then we'll get into the drink and how to create it. Again today, I'm going to be using this foam blender, and I'll be sure to put that link in the description in case you wanna learn more information about it and how to use it. But it's easy to use, and in my opinion, a great investment if you have a bubble tea shop or a cafe, and you're going to be making a wide variety of different mousse flavors for your drinks. Today, we're going to be using recipe number one out of the four that are in the description below. The reason why is because I want a thicker mousse, but I don't want it too thick. I just want it thick enough that it's got that really nice thickness on the top of the drink, uh, but I do want the customer to have the option of being able to shake it in or stir it in if they wish. I'm going to be making this recipe using weight as opposed to volume. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. I'm going to put my blender on the scale and hit the tear button or tar button so it goes to zero. I'm going to add 90 milliliters of whole milk. This will come to approximately 90 grams. Next, directly into this blender, we're going to tar it back to zero and add 30 grams of the strawberry swirl cream foam powder. I'll pop an image on screen so you know how this normally arrives, but it usually comes in a giant bag, of course, uh, but I've just transferred it into an airtight container. So, making sure it's back on zero, I'm going to add 30 grams. Before we add in our double cream or whipping cream, I'm actually going to put this blender on for just a few seconds. Put the lid on top, of course. And then that way we're gonna make sure that that powder is fully combined with the milk before we start giving it that extra volume. Perfect. All right, we're gonna put it back on the scale. Get it back to zero grams and then add 90 grams of the double cream. Pop it back on the blender with the lid. And we're gonna let this go for the full minute. It will automatically shut off. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I explain all about this machinery in the other video, but basically it's already set to cream. It automatically turns off and you don't need to worry about the variable button in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. All right, we're all done. It's as easy as that. If you need to do a larger batch and transfer it to a container, you can definitely do that with this. But if you do need to make just a couple drinks at a time, then this is ideal. And if you have more than one of these attachments, uh, in theory, you could have you know, strawberry, tiramisu, vanilla, and then whenever you need to make more, just weigh it in real quick, psh, pop it on the machine, ready to go. By the time the drink is ready, you're pouring the mousse on top. Can't get much easier than this. So let's give it a try. Mm, nice and frothy, very creamy looking. And you'll see it uh, when I go to compile the drink in just a minute, but in the meantime, I just wanna see how it tastes. Mm. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> just as good as, if not better, than how I remember it. So good, it's almost like 
strawberry ice cream. It's just got that really nice creamy frothiness to it. I'm gonna put this off to the side and let's start on the drink. Okay, so first we're going to do the bottom layer flavor, which is the strawberry milk. And this recipe is similar <laughs> for the most part to my normal 222 recipe, which is two of the flavor, two of the creamer, and then two of the fructose. Um, but the measurement for this is slightly different. So let's follow along. First, we're going to add in two scoops of the strawberry flavored bubble tea powder. Now, again, this is a base flavored powder. So it's not the you know AIO all-in-one flavor where it's got everything mixed into it. This is just uh, the base flavor. And then from here, we're going to add in the creamer powder and the fructose. Here is the bubble tea creamer powder. And the measurement, again, is two, right? But we're using a brown bubble tea scoop, which is just over a tablespoon. And last but not least is two teaspoons of fructose powder or 14 milliliters if you're using fructose syrup. All right, and here is where the recipe gets slightly different. We're only gonna be doing 100 milliliters of hot water. Stir really well until combined. I'm gonna put this off to the side while I make the other part of this recipe and then we'll get right back to it. So I'm literally just gonna put it right here. And next we're gonna start on the charcoal section. Now this bubble tea flavored powder is called bamboo charcoal. It actually already has a little bit of tea in it, um, but I'm going to add just a tad more, which we'll get to in a second. But again, this is a flavored base powder. So this isn't just charcoal powder. Um, this is an actual bubble tea supply product that you can get on the market. Okay, and so in this next shaker, we're just going to put two scoops of the bamboo charcoal bubble tea powder. Now we're not gonna be adding any cream or, or fructose to this part. We want the buoyancy of it to be lighter than the strawberry milk. So therefore we need it to be elevated, to rest on top, be lighter, and create that layered effect. And then I'm going to add 75 milliliters of pre-brewed black tea. I literally just put a tea bag with 75 milliliters of hot water and let it brew, and we're gonna pour it straight in. and then give this a really good whisk until all is combined. All right, so now we're going to add ice all the way to the top of both shakers, put the lids on and shake really well for one minute. All right, so now we're going to build our drink. We're going to layer it. So this is the cup that we will be using. The taller and more narrow, the better. I mean, I have seen a lot of these done with the more chubby cup, round type thing. That mostly works when you're doing about two layers. But if you're gonna be doing three layers, a taller cup is a bit better for that. This is, I think, 660 milliliters. So almost seven, we go ahead and call it a 700 mil cup. First, we're going to begin, well, if you have a topping with a topping, but today we won't be doing that stuff. Then you're going to fill the glass about halfway full of ice. Then go ahead and pour in your strawberry milk. Now carefully pour in your charcoal milk tea aim for the ice cubes. This will help you to achieve the layered effect. You can also try experimenting with different sizes and styles of ice cubes whenever you're doing layered drinks. It may or may not affect the layering of the product. You can always try giving it a little bit of a twist, which in some cases may or may not assist with the layered effect. Okay, and last but not least is the strawberry cream foam. Now again, this is a bit of a thicker recipe that we're using today, so you might need to guide it into your glass just a tad. And I like to give it just a little bit of a sort of flowery effect on top there. I think about an inch on the top is perfect, but of course you can always experiment over time to figure out what sort of layered effect you would like to do with the quantities and volume of the product. And last but not least, just for effect, a little bit of the charcoal powder on top. And there you have it, the drink that I like to call Mrs. Panda. Now, there will be another one, Mr. Panda, of course, in this series, but as you can see, this drink just looks amazing. It is so beautifully layered, pink, black, pink, a little bit of black on top, just screams 
drink me. I mean, it is just one of those drinks. And because it has a really good layered effect with the type of measurements that I've done with the, you know, heavier, lighter, and then of course the thick layer on top, you know, you can actually take this around, move it around. Um, you know, I've been taking pictures of it. It still has a really nice layered effect, which means if you are serving it to a customer and they want to take it away, no problem. Just pop it in a little drink carrier. And I know there's loads of drink carriers out there, but this one is super cool. And um, it's all natural, biodegradable, and you can get that on the Boba Box website. Not sponsored, but just a really cool item that I thought you might wanna see. I would tend to go for one of the lids um, that you can actually take off. That way, if they want to use their straw to kind of eat some of the mousse, they can do that as well. Mm. Really nice. You kind of get the foam to begin with and then the charcoal kind of peeks through. So let me grab my straw. It's such a beautiful layered drink. I really, really like this one. It's so cute. Mm. So nice. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It's one of those drinks that after you've had a nice meal and you say to yourself, hey, I wanna go grab a bubble tea. This is what you think of. It's that type of drink. So, so good. Mm. So good. The cool thing about having a lid with this one is, you know, it's kind of difficult to get a hold of straws that are just big enough for this size of a cup. So a drink like this, where you've got the mousse and then you've got the milk tea, you can just drink it the entire time. And so if you'd like to learn how to make the black and white version of this, I will be sure to link that in the description when the video is ready. This really truly is not only just a fun looking drink, of course, for social media and taking pictures, but the flavor of it is so, so delicious. Oh, I can't wait for you to try it. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I look forward to bringing you another fun and delicious drink again soon. Take care.